our milk from our farmers. We should be adding value, producing butter, using it to produce uh, um, powder, and go and sell it in DRC, go and sell it in uh, Central Africa, go and sell it in West Africa. And then we get the cheaper milk from Uganda and we drink. In what could be described as a perfect shift and change in position by the Kenyan president, William Samoy Ruto, Margaret Kiboj, the managing director of the Kenya Dairy Board, in a letter dated 6th of March 2023, indicated and reads, In anticipation of the long rains, the government has stopped the importation of milk powders from Uganda to caution the industry from surplus production and lower producer prices. Kibogi added that, consequently, the board has temporarily suspended the issuance of these import permits until further notice. This notice has created a lot of discomfort among the Ugandan legislators on the Parliament Trade Committee. Open market with, with these uh, bans that we are experiencing, it gets us back. Other countries should replicate the same for us to move together. It points to the lack of the actual East African community, as we have always been portraying. While the powdered milk machines roll effortlessly in the milk value-adding industries, it is not the case with the proprietors of these industries. The spokesperson of the Uganda Dairy Development Authority, Joshua Turatemba, however, says that much as the authority has not received any official communication from its Kenyan counterparts, there should be a deliberate plan to increase the demand for the Ugandan milk. Be the school milk uh, policy that would see a middle ground between uh, uh, cost sharing, uh, the schools, parents, and processors. Much as the Ugandan milk production has increased exponentially through the years to 3.2 billion liters in 2022, Kenya consumes 63 percent of the Ugandan milk. Turia Temba says that Uganda should focus on the low-hanging fruit. The DRC uh, Congo imports milk worth 200 and worth 22 million dollars as per 2022. When we explore the, the, the external markets, it increases the value in terms of forex earnings for us. So the pressure that we as private sector are putting on government to say, yes, this opportunity has been closed off, but we're having a large supply here. How can we get that milk to Moroto? How can we get it to the places in this country that need it and have effective demand for it? The State Minister for Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, Harriet Ntabazi, says that she has not received any official communication to the same effect, but nonetheless, there should be a long-term plan for the Ugandan surplus milk. Ntabazi says that Ugandan farmers should not relent, but instead increase on production. We are targeting Algeria today. Tomorrow we shall be elsewhere as the program will be unfolded. And I want to tell you, Ugandans out there, be calm. You have a working ministry. Much as the reggae between the two countries, Uganda and Kenya, seems to be far from over as it is ban after ban. It is expected that the closed-door talks between the Minister of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives in Uganda and Professor Njuguna Ndungu will carry with them some light into the plight of a Ugandan milk producer. Hakim Wampamba, NBS Live.